Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Quinn from Good Shepherd Creative Play. This week, Mrs. McDonough and I would like you to think about butterflies and caterpillars. The life cycle of a butterfly, caterpillars become butterflies, what do caterpillars look like, what do butterflies look like. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple but fun butterfly craft. What you're going to need is a toilet paper roll, simple butterfly wings cut out of construction paper. If you have pipe cleaners in your house, little pieces of pipe cleaner like this, if you don't, Q-tips work pretty well for antenna or things you might find outside like little flowers, that's gonna be the antennas that are poking up off your butterfly head, okay? Uh, and markers like these, these are Sharpies. You might have regular markers. You might have crayons in your house, that's fine. And if you have glue sticks or uh, liquid glue, hot glue is fine too. But remember, don't use hot glue unless mom or dad is doing it for you, okay? You can use regular glue yourselves, that's fine. Okay, uh, the first thing you want to do is color your toilet paper roll. What do you want the color of your butterfly body to be? And you can do anything. I did like a solid blue on here with a marker. You could do stripes. Uh, you could use crayons. If you have stickers, maybe you'd want to decorate your body with stickers. That might work too. You can be creative and do what you want. The other thing you could do, and I'm going to show you, is you can decorate your butterfly wings, okay? So I cut butterfly wings out of orange construction paper. And I'm gonna see, I wanna make this side of my butterfly wings have polka dots, okay? So maybe I would pick a couple different colors for that. I'm gonna try like a hot pink and maybe I'll do blue to go with the body, right? Okay. Just so you can see how creative you can be with this. I'm going to also put some stripes on the other side because sometimes we see beautiful butterflies that have all kinds of patterns on them, right? Beautiful patterns. You can color it in. You can leave the stripe like it is, okay? I have like a light purple I'm gonna try. Let's see what that looks like. Mmm, very nice. Okay, so you could do whatever you want. You could do squiggly lines. You could do little patterns on either side, whatever you want, okay? So this is your butterfly wing. After you've decorated your butterfly wings and your butterfly body, I want you to glue the butterfly body to the wings. Very simple. You just put glue right in the middle there and lay your butterfly body down right in the middle, okay? And press down, as you can see, I put my fingers inside the toilet paper tube and I'm pressing down on either side, okay? And when I pick it up, I've made a beautiful butterfly. Is it done yet? No. Now, Mrs. Quinn has these in her house, okay? You guys might not have these in your house, but we use these at school all the time. Our googly eyes, okay? I'm gonna use googly eyes on my butterfly. I'm just gonna see if I can at least just stick one on to show you. If you have these in your house or you have googly eye stickers in your house, some of you might have that. Feel free to use those. Okay, then I'm gonna put my googly eyes on my butterfly like that. That was my loud grandfather clock. Did you guys just hear that? Woo, that was loud. <laughs> okay. not sticking on too well, huh? Let's see. Let's see if I can press it on really good. Okay. Now, so my butterfly has eyeballs. That's great. What else does he need? How about a mouth? How about a smiley face? How cute would that be? Okay, so I'm going to use my markers or my crayons, whatever you're using, and I'm just going to give him a smiley face. So many of you know how to make great smiley faces on things. I've seen you do it so many times. So you can give him a cute, cute smiley face, okay? Very nice. Now, like I said, I have pipe cleaners. 
And how I'm going to use the pipe cleaners is for some antennas. I'm going to use tape to attach my antenna to the inside of my toilet paper tube. If you have something else, like a Q-tip or like a flower from outside, okay, you can do the same thing. You can just use very, very simple tape. Glue would be a little tough because you'd have to get inside there. So I think tape might be a little bit easier. Okay, and I am going to tape my antennas to the inside of my toilet paper tube. Look at that, so easy. So I have a cute little butterfly that you put together on your own. Look at that, so cute, right? And you can just now use him for whatever you want. He could be like a decoration or she could be a decoration. You could take her outside and she can fly around. Okay, so see how you do. And if you have fun with this, see if you can make as many as you can. Mom and dad might be recycling toilet paper tubes, okay? So you might have some in your recycling can. You can also cut a paper towel tube in half, or you could make a giant butterfly and keep the paper towel tube the size that it is, and then use bigger paper. That might be fun too. If you do any of these projects and you wanna let us know that you did them, please uh, have mom or dad take a picture and email it to Mrs. McDonough. And we're gonna be talking each week on our Zoom meetings about the projects that we're doing. So I would love it if we could do some of these. I might do another one and we'll share them and we can show them on our Zoom meetings too. We could do that also, okay? So have fun doing this, have fun with butterflies and caterpillars this week and I will see you on the Zoom meetings. I miss you guys, bye-bye.